In a video released Sunday, ISIS announced the beheading of American aid worker Peter Kasig. He's now the fifth Western hostage murdered by the group. This video, which we're not showing out of respect for Kasig's family, is different from the others. It doesn't show the actual beheading, and Kasig is also not shown reading a final statement as the other hostages did. There are a few different theories as to why. The Telegraph suggests Kasig might have tried resisting his captors. One of his friends told the paper, I think he refused. He was a man of principle and wouldn't give in to intimidation from thugs. In previous propaganda videos like this one, ISIS demonstrated its high-quality production values with elaborate camera work and sophisticated graphics. The most recent video, on the other hand, seems rushed, shot in poor lighting with only a single camera angle which the New York Times suggests could mean the militants didn't have as much time to shoot outdoors as they did with previous videos, carrying out a similar level of production as surveillance planes crisscross the skies above would result in extended exposure, heightening risk. U.S. officials say the American-led airstrikes against the group have been successful in weakening its ability to operate freely. The airstrikes have been very effective in degrading ISIL's capabilities and slowing the advance that they were making. There was speculation the leader of ISIS, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, seen here in this July video, had been injured or even killed in an airstrike. To prove he was still alive, ISIS released not a video, but an audio recording purportedly featuring Baghdadi's voice. That, says one Middle East expert writing for CNN, is a sign that, like al-Qaeda's leaders before them, ISIS bosses are going deeper and deeper underground. The bombing campaign, however effective in slowing the group's advances, doesn't appear to have stalled the group's killing spree. The latest video also showed the mass execution of more than a dozen Syrian soldiers. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.